Hi, this is Dave and I'm going to be talking today about a very interesting topic. Going into the oil field or going highway? I'm going to give you pros and cons and tell you what I've experienced over the last 22 years of doing both. I got thrown into it two weeks before I graduated from high school because I'm third generation and I had no choice. I went and got my class one in 99. Two weeks later, I was heading to Seattle, Washington to do a uh, bundle cleaning job. Being that I am third generation oil field worker, I stuck with it because I thought that's what I was supposed to do. And after going through four feast or famine sessions, and now with a wife, now ex-wife, and kids, I jumped to highway because it's more stable and I can support them a little bit better. Depending on what job I was doing, I liked the people I worked with. I got along with a lot of them. Not everybody, but I got along with a lot of them. I left because there's too much political BS in the industry. Now that I'm only trucking, it's taken a little bit to adapt because now, like I said before, I live in this truck. Like I don't go home after 15 days for six days off. I live in that truck. And the companies I was working for before abused me and I would be home five days a year because that's how much they would run me. I'm a workaholic, so I, it took not much to adapt because I like working. But if anybody's gonna transition, understand besides the pay being less, you will have way less stress, you will have a lot more fun, and your scenery or the view from your office always changes. Hey guys, Ronan here. I wanted to personally thank you for watching this video. I've been recruiting drivers for about 15 years now, and I've heard hundreds and hundreds of stories of how drivers are getting mistreated by their current employers and how they're being taken advantage of by our current industry providers. So I wanted to create a channel in order to unite North American drivers, share my knowledge, educate drivers to become more successful, and hopefully one day to make a positive impact on our industry. Some concerns that I have in our industry revolve around how drivers are being mistreated by their current employers, safety on the road, parking for drivers, and driver compensation. When we unite, we can make a difference. This video and this channel is not meant for recruiting purposes. As me and my team continue to produce high quality and interesting videos, I do need your support in order to make a difference in this North American market. Please subscribe to our channel. And if you're enjoying the video you're watching, give it a thumbs up. And now back to the video. Let's start with oil field. So the pros of an oil field job, you're gonna make a ton of money. Not gonna lie. You're gonna make a ton of money depending on your position, your experience, if the company wants to keep you around. Level one, level two operator, depending on the industry you're in, like fracking, cementing, chemical, high pressure, whatever, you can probably average if you are fairly busy fairly gung-ho about it. It's a good year for jobs. You can probably come in at about $100,000 to $130,000 a year before taxes. A good trucker, depending on who you work for as a company driver, you're probably gonna be sitting around 70, 80,000. You are gonna learn teamwork. You're gonna learn social skills, how to deal with people, how to deal with the customer. Cons of the oil field, you have no life. You will be working anywhere from a four day hour at the shop to upwards of 72 hours straight. Most oil field companies, be it frackers, cementers, chemical guys, whatever, they get to a point where the job has to be done, you don't stop. If a truck needs to be moved, they figure it out, but it moves. Like, they bend a lot of rules for the most part. They're getting better, don't get me wrong. They don't ask you, can you, it's get it done. And that's everything from laying iron to driving across country, especially frackers. No offense to frackers, because I've dealt with you guys before, it's more get it done. Their equipment, depending on the company you work for, is usually not in the best shape because they need to get the job done. So they fix it to get the job done. It's a lot of older equipment, and I'm not talking about like 07, I'm talking about like early 2000s. It's usually a lot of older equipment which is not bad, usually better equipment, like better running. You can't plan a life around them. You could be home to do your laundry, put your laundry in, get a call, you're gone for another month and a half. Relationships are destroyed. With and the biggest downfall of the oil field is what is called feast or famine. When you're busy, you'll have no time to spend the money, but then if the economy crashes, you can't find a job. That's the downfall of the oil field. And Alberta is looking at it right now. 
So trucking, pros of trucking. You are basically left alone because you're in your truck driving. A stable year round job because you always need to move something. There's always trucking year round. Most companies will let you bring a pet for medical reasons or whatever, they'll let you bring a pet. Equipment is a toss up depending on who you go with. It can be brand new, really shiny equipment or it can be an older but well taken care of because of the laws that we have to follow. The downside to a trucker is you're isolated. You are antisocial most of the time. You don't make as much as the oil field, but it is more year round. You do have laws that keep changing in an industry where they don't understand what you do by anybody. You constantly have people cutting you off, constantly people thinking you can turn on a dime, stop on a dime. So people in general don't know what you can do. You live in a truck for two and a half months at some points. So you have to select your truck very appropriately because that's gonna be your home. Okay, so an oil field worker is a very broad category. You can be anything from a laborer, an operator, depending on your level operator, you will be driving a body job truck, which is no trailer or a tractor trailer, to a refinery, to the middle of nowhere on a leash road, so you possibly have to chain up, chain down, you have to be pulled in by a cat. You will be working in the environment no matter what. So if it is raining, snowing, 45 degrees Celsius, 101 Fahrenheit, you are working. You're rigging that unit in or rigging that unit out. They don't stop. Highway driver, on the other hand, you're in air conditioning or heat of your truck. Depending on what division or what you decide to do, you could be pulling grain trailers, you could be pulling bulkers, you could be pulling fuel tanks, you could be pulling vans and reefers, you could be doing deck work, which if you're doing deck work, you will be outside for the load and unload. But otherwise you'll be inside. If you're hauling livestock, like we do have regulations, we do have issues, it's just if you're doing oil field, you better like the outside. Work hours. So oil field, there's no such thing. If it's a rush job, emergency job, or something like that, you don't stop. They may give you a cat nap here and there, or they may bring in pizza or subs or something because you can't leave, but you don't stop. Normally, you are a 12 hour shift. Seven to seven, six to six, whatever, normally. But there are a lot of times you can go 24, 36, 48 hours without stopping. That's the oil field for you. Trucking, we are regulated depending on what country you are to 11 or 13 hours. After that, we have to stop. So you will get more rest. I can tell you what to decide. If you are teetering back and forth, I'm not gonna tell you which way to go. That's a personal decision. That's a relationship decision. If you are with somebody, be it your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, whatever. Because I do know a lot of girls in the industries, both sides. All I'm telling you is seriously research before you jump. Look at the highs, the lows, the everything. What your physical demands are gonna be, you know, expectations, everything. Because just because you're gonna make 50 bucks an hour, but yet you turn around and only work for a week and then off two and a half weeks, that may not work for you. For me, it was, the oil field didn't work anymore. I'm more happy with a truck driving job, but that was an own personal decision. I can't tell anybody on this planet what to do, but all I would recommend is before you jump, if you're gonna jump, research it, see what you're getting into, see what the working environment's like, see what the physical conditions are like, see what kind of training you need. And that could be anything from college, university to site specifics, stuff like that. Like every job is different. And before yourself or you and your spouse can make that decision, look into it. It's not an easy decision because it's gonna affect your life and your body. If you have any questions, you can comment, like, and subscribe. I'm gonna check out here because I gotta go to work, but you all have a good day and talk to you later.